in this quick tutorial, I am going to show you how to uh, quickly manipulate an image in its native application without physically leaving InDesign. All right, let's get started. So as you can see, we're in an InDesign document and I manually put in two guidelines. I'm pretty much a stickler for aesthetics. And if you notice on the right hand side, the shelving in the background aligns pretty vertically, it's straight up and down for the most part. But the shelving on the left hand side, the vertical alignment is slightly off. So what I want to do is I want to correct that in the native application, and in this case it is Photoshop. And then I want to you know update it in InDesign. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. What you want to do is I'm on the Mac, Option Command key, just hover over the image double click and it will automatically open it up in Photoshop. What I'm going to do for this exercise, I'm going to put a guide over here by the uh, on the right hand side, the shelving, the vertical shelving on the right hand side. And I'm going to do the same thing on the vertical sh shelving on the left hand side. Now I'm going to do a command A, so I select the whole image, do a command T, so I bring up the transform option. Then I'm going to take the uh, crosshairs or the reference point and I'm going to place it right over where my shoulder intersects with the guideline. Go up to the left hand side, put my finger on the command key, I'm going to put my finger on the shift key and I'm going to slightly skew this image, pull it to the left, go down to the right hand, I'm sorry, the left hand corner, finger on the shift and the command key and slightly bring that in to the right so that I get this vertical alignment right here. So I like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do now is double click so it's locked into place. Then I'm going to save it. All right, I'll save it. And once I do that, I'm going to come over here to my InDesign doc. And as you notice, it's been updated. And in reality, I really didn't leave InDesign. I just bought a Photoshop made the change and then once I saved it, it automatically updates in InDesign. And you can do that with any, whether it's Illustrator or any other native application where you may have created artwork and you want to modify it and it, you want to modify it but you don't want to leave InDesign. You use the Option Command key on the Mac or Alt Control. Double click, it immediately opens it up, make the change and then it will automatically update in InDesign. So that's how you can do that without leaving InDesign.